Last year, we talked about the Ursa Cine 12K and the Ursa Cine 17K. And those cameras were really built with the mindset of, if we could put everything we could possibly put into a single camera without any limitations at all, what would we do? And that was how we created those two cameras. But then what we started to see as well was that the Pixis became a hugely popular camera and the 6K version with the full frame sensor was doing incredibly well. So what we started to look at was whether or not we could take that 12K sensor and we could bring it across into the Pixis 6K um, body, which is what we did. And ultimately we created the Pixis 12K. Now the great thing is, is that what we're doing is we're bringing the highest possible quality to that body and making it more accessible for more people. So with 16 stops of dynamic range, with 12K resolution, but also probably one of the most important things, which is super fast readout speeds, you're actually getting an incredibly high value and high quality piece of equipment. As I go into the menu, you'll see that I have multiple options for different resolutions that I want to shoot in. 4K, 8K, 9K, and 12K. The benefits of shooting in 4K, 8K, and 12K is that there is no sensor cropping, so we're using the full sensor for 4K, 8K, and the 12K. As we look across at the different, um, different types of resolution that we're working at, we can shoot an open gate in 12K up to 40 frames per second. But if we go to 241, what we can actually do is increase those in 8K and 4K um, quite significantly. So if I go across here and if I go to 8K and I go across to my frames per second, you'll see that as I continue to increase my frames per second, eventually I can actually get up to 112 frames per second shooting in 8K. This is one of the benefits of obviously using this much larger 35mm 12K sensor. There are significant benefits both in terms of how we use that sensor in terms of the lack of cropping, but also we have the, the additional benefit of the faster readout speeds. So when we're actually shooting in 4K and we're working with these higher frame rates, one of the things that you'll notice is that rolling shutter really isn't something of a problem. Um, a lot of people talk about the benefits of global shutter and rolling shutter, but when you've got super fast readout speeds like this camera has, it's, all, it's almost undetectable to actually notice that there is rolling shutter because of the speed of that readout on this 12K sensor. We're recording to CF Express, which is the same as the Pixis 6K, and all of the functions and controls and the body size is exactly the same. If you've invested already in a 6K, it means that all of those bits of equipment that you bought in and around it are also adaptable to this new model. We're also using the Sony battery here, which can run when you're working, say, open gate 12K, you know, in fast frame rates, probably an hour and a half's worth of battery power. But obviously, if, you, if we start to reduce the resolutions and the frame rates, we can probably get up to around about three hours out of a single battery. We then also have our SDI output and our reference input along with our 10 gig um, ethernet connection. Um, and then we have a USB-C on the side. And as we rotate again around the camera on the other side, you'll start to see this is where the mounting points become important but also we have an additional USB-C on the front that is enabled us to take a video feed all the way up to our EVF or our Pixis monitor, should we want to actually put a Pixis monitor on here. These mounting points become interesting when you start to add additional things to it, such as um, hand-holding grips, but also as well at the show, we've also announced a Pixis grip um, for holding the camera on the side. And we've also actually added a Pixis handle on the top, which incorporates function buttons, zoom buttons, record buttons, and an internal mic, which will actually fit on the top of the camera. So we're really trying to think about the usability. We're really trying to think about the ergonomics and how people will rig these up, um, but also at the same time, not compromising on the quality of the image that comes from this with those 16 stops of dynamic range, that super fast readout speed, and also those resolution options from 12K all the way to 4K.